What's up guys? This is going to be a quick video. Uh, this is an error that I've run into only once, luckily, but I found a fix for it and it's pretty easy. You will need a GoPro Plus account or a GoPro subscription, the $4.99 a month thing for the cloud storage. And uh, you're gonna need to upload the clip that is giving you the error to GoPro so that you can re-download it. So I'm gonna open up the clip and you get this. Parser failed to parse movie. I don't know what it means. Apparently Real Steady doesn't know what it means. So I was pretty bummed when I got this because the movie that I was trying to parse was a clip that I was pretty excited for. So luckily I found a fix for it. It does lower the quality, but it works. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to GoPro, find the clip. So for me, it was this clip right here. And it was mainly for this shot. It's my buddy just standing out there overlooking a big hemp farm. So I was pumped to Real Steady this clip, and when I loaded it into Real Steady, it gave me the error, and I was pretty bummed. But if you click the clip and you download it compressed, Real Steady can somehow read it. All right, so I downloaded the clip. I actually downloaded it in 2K as well. So we have the 1080 version and the original version, which I filmed in 2.7K. So as you can see, this is just the, Go the file straight from the GoPro. And when I load this clip into Real Steady, I get the error. Even if you download it, re-download the 2.7K clip from GoPro, you're still gonna get the parser failed to parse movie error. But if you load the 1080 version, it's able to run the numbers. So even though you're losing quality, you are still able to get the real steady look and stabilization on your videos. So yeah, there we go. Now we basically have this clip downloaded. We can set our in and out points. And we can set new keyframes. So there we go. That is the entire clip. I'm not sure what happened to the clip that made it do the parsing error. It was cut short for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but either way, the GoPro file was corrupt and Real Steady wasn't reading it. So you re-download 1080 and it is able to put it into Real Steady. And you hit save video and let it do its thing. And then it does this, and it freezes on the rendering screen. So what you're gonna need to do for this is if you open up the folder, you're gonna see that it still looks like an incomplete file, it's not loading. Just close the program, and then it's fine. So here it is in 1080, the entire clip. So that's how to get rid of the parser error in Real Steady. If this video helped you out, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.